John Stamos. He's a man of many talents, from being very handsome when he's acting, being very handsome when he isn't acting. But unfortunately, we can add being a scammer, good enough to get one over on a guy recording a video in his room in front of a green screen to his decorated resume. During the holidays, too. Come on, John. Before I go any further, I just want to say, mostly so I don't get sued, I am like 99% sure Mr. Stamos is not directly involved in this scam, and likely he's as much a victim of it as I am. M maybe not as much of a victim. I did lose like $12, but he's still a victim. The holiday season can be stressful, from attending parties with relatives that you don't see eye to eye with, to fitting everything you want to do in, to the two weeks of time where your employers don't expect you to be constantly at your desk checking emails. They do expect you to have Slack on your phone, though. You, you know, just in case anything crazy happens. But perhaps the biggest source of stress is figuring out a good gift for your loved ones. Fortunately, my family has a system to avoid disappointment. The system? Just telling each other what we'd like for Christmas. Honestly, it works really well most of the time. This year, however, things get a bit stressful for me. It's all thanks to Uncle Jesse. Whatever happened to predictability. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, I don't want to get copyright claimed, and I can't afford to license the song. A couple weeks before Christmas, I asked my mom what she'd like for Christmas. And she said that she wanted the John Stamos biography, among other things. So I opened up Amazon, typed in John Stamos biography, and there it was, the hardcover of the book, if he would have told me, a memoir. I don't really like hardcover books. I don't really know why. I think they're just kind of unwieldy. So I opted for the soft cover right below it. If you're at all decent at picking out details, you know I messed up. But fortunately, apparently, I'm terrible at noticing details. Because at first glance, these books look the same to me. I didn't realize my mistake until the 21st when I opened the Amazon package and found... This is an unofficial autobiography of John Stamos. That's 46 pages long. My first thought was, wow, they really don't care how much effort celebrities put into these things. But then my second thought was, oh, no, I messed up. I went back to Amazon and checked. The books didn't match. I quickly added the correct book to my cart and checked out. It came on Christmas Eve, just in time. But what did I buy? What is this? I had to dig deeper, not just to answer the question for me personally, but also because this video that I planned to make recounting the story would be really short if I stopped here to see how deep this rabbit hole goes. So I clicked on the seller, University Press, and discovered they didn't only do this to John Stamos, they did this to other celebrities, and also Jesse Waters. The name University Press is so vague, and probably purposely so, that it's very tough to find anything about it outside of their Amazon page. But it seems they're a business that pumps out biographies that are usually around, again, 50 pages, in the hopes that some idiot buys it when looking for the real one. So for now, this rabbit hole, it's not that deep. It's just a scammy company preying on idiots. So I made this video in the hopes that it would stop at least one person from buying these cheap knockoffs. As the John Stamos biography says, the character of Lance Stargrove was a teenage gymnast, giving him a plausible backstory for all sorts of stunt shenanigans throughout the film. I don't really know why I thought opening to a random page would give me a perfect quote to wrap this up, but uh, it didn't, so add some more disappointment to the list. I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas, and if not, can I interest you in a John Stamos biography? Lightly use. I guess this is the end. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, uh, make sure to subscribe. We have new videos coming out pretty frequently on this channel. And, uh, you know, they're not always about former 90s sitcom stars. Sometimes they're about other stuff. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out our other channels, Better Radio for Podcasts, we Sports for sports content. I'll see you in the next one.